All right, here we have yet another display of the assortment of bloodthirsty demonic fruit coming out of Islam, the Roman Catholic created religion of Islam, the false religion of Islam. It says here on Jihad Watch, extremist Muslim tries to kill Christian woman by cutting her neck with a sickle. You know, extremists in quotation, because obviously the Muslim extremists are not extremists. They're just Muslims. But he quotes Quran 47 verse 4, when you eat them, believers strike their necks. Exactly. So let's read this article and see what's, what's going on here. It says, a Coptic woman called Mona Wadwafti, I think I say her name, say her name uh, Marzwuk, 35, in the village of Sharona district, uh, Minya government, was subject to an, attempt to, to, an, to an attempt to slaughter her using a sickle, a sharp tool used to cut grass. At the hands of a person called Qasem Fala Muhammad, the girl was transferred to Sheikh Faldi, Fadi whatever, hospital and received treatment with seven stitches in her neck. One of the village's cops said that the woman was on her way in the morning to the family's farmland to do her work to help her family and her sick father. Hussein Muhammad was walking behind her and without introduction, he tried to strangle her with a scarf. Then he took from her hand a sickle tool, which she had to, which she had to use in the agriculture and tried to slaughter her with it. But by, divine, but, but by divine providence, the sickle was not very sharp, so the assault did not cut the arteries of her neck. So, that's what's going on there, that's what the Muslim tried to do. It says, uh, Marquis, Marquis, I think I said her name, the cousin, the, the cousin, sorry, I almost said husband, cousin of the victim, said that, that Qasim quickly ran away and left her lying on the ground, and no one was present until her brother came, so he and others took her to the hospital, where she was treated with seven stitches too close to close the wound in her neck. Mona lives now in a state of terror and panic after which after, after she was exposed to a harsh experience harsh experience from this uh, extremist person, which the Muslims are not extremists, they're just Muslim. Uh, Markery uh, indicated that the security forces arrested the, perpet the perpetrator's brother and are making every effort to arrest the culprit after his escape, noting that his family is trying to promote trying to promote the claim that he is a mental patient and produce an unaccredited certificate to that effect. This is unacceptable because the young man is one of their neighbors and they know that he is healthy, but he sometimes takes some narcotics as if and if he is mentally ill, why does he target cops only? It is convincible that in every incident against the cops, the claim that the, the person, the claim that, that that it is because he is a psychopath is propagated as if the psychopath only sees cops in order to try to kill them. Yeah, exactly, because why? He's a Muslim. Okay, he's just doing what Muslims do best, to kill the infidel. And in this case, because the Quran curses Christians, he's just following what his Quran says. So just another example of the kind of fruit of Islam for you. Islam, just like Hinduism or Judaism, or when you really get down to it, atheism, which is just communism, when you, which is all the same thing, really. Uh, this is the kind of mentality they have. This is the fruit of this false religion, which is the same kind of bloodthirsty fruit that the Roman Catholic papacy had when dealing with the Bible believers. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.